this has been a long kept secret. A long kept secret. Why did you keep the relationship under wrap? So the real reason was we just wanted privacy. All our friends and family knew we were together, mm -hmm. our kids, all that stuff. But yeah, we were never private, private. No, we go out all the time. Uh -huh. yeah, but it never dawned on me. Like, it, we didn't want to make it public, public. Gotcha. So, but what happened is I started traveling more and DJing. Uh -huh. LA, Miami, New York, you know, like all over the place. And we would go together. So instead of jumping the shark, we pretty much said, you know, let's just organize something and then we'll come out publicly. Gotcha. Because it's going to keep on happening. We're yeah. going to travel more and more together. And, There'll be more notoriety. Right, and I'm hearing that while you all were traveling and the relationship was under wraps, that Stephanie, you were pretending to be Hannah's friend. Oh, yes. In one occasion, I was, because yeah. we were there for her mostly, but she wanted my support, so it was easy enough to just say I was an older college student. He also respected my wishes, because it's a lot, obviously, like since we've been out, it is a lot. And I am thankful that a lot of good things have been said, but you know, it's good or bad, but a lot of it was like, it was a new thing. I, we both had a lot of, not a lot of relationships, but a lot of years invested in people and I just didn't know where this would go. And I respect him and I know he respected me, so that's why we kind of just, again, we were not private. We'd kiss in public around here, anywhere we went, but we were just cautious. Mm -hmm. If I saw a camera, I just, yeah. Left. yeah, especially in major cities though. Yeah. Like obviously we live out here in the country or suburbs or whatever, and people are more conservative. When we go to like Miami and New York, it's more business, yeah. you know, and they're, you, paparazzi and, and the likelihood of that is about to happen. So we flew down to Miami for a shoot with Hannah. Uh, so the first time I walk right into the Mondrian Hotel mm -hmm. in South Beach and there is like I, paparazzi and I knew like half of those guys. And they're like, oh, hey, John, how are you? And I'm like, uh, I'm how good. How did you feel in that moment, <clears throat> Stephanie? Because he did tell them, like, you know, no pictures, and yeah. it's, it, you know, it's new. We have children involved, so, and we're happy. Like, if, we're, if we have to behave a little bit in public, we're going home together later, so it's fine, yeah. you know. But how has it been getting into this whole media madness, and did anyone in particular warn you, maybe you shouldn't get involved with John Gosling? Well, my mom flew out of her recliner when I said <laughs> I was dating him. No way. Really? Flying out of the recliner in a good way or a bad way? I was way? like, I'm, okay, I finally, I was like not <laughs> dating anymore and I was like, I found somebody and I told her who it was. Okay, but now the greatest thing is that they, they talk, they, she knows more about our relationship than I do. Really? So how did you win her mother over, John? Uh, he talks to her every day. I just treat her like an old person. <laughs> yeah. um, what do you think she's, it was? She's, I think we have the same personality. We're both black and white. So we just say how we feel and, and what's going on. Mm -hmm. So we tend to just like, get along on the same page. And our outlook in life is pretty much the same, so. What do you think it was about Stephanie's mom that had her be a little cautious, reluctant about her daughter dating you? Uh, I think of people that read uh, tabloids and read into tabloids. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I'm out there a lot. Um, and maybe talk to other people that may or may not know too much about me. I kind of keep to myself around here. I mean, I have my close friends and we go out and stuff like that but I don't really have ancillary people uh, anymore in my life. So take us back to that first day the two of you met. How did you meet? We met at a backyard barbecue from a mutual friend. So who put the move on who first? Stephanie, did you approach John? John, did you approach so did Stephanie? We that I think I did message you first. Oh. I think you did. I, I thought actually probably pull it up. first. Because I had a really cool candle and because we're friends with everything, like I thought you commented on my candle for my birthday. But I don't know, I think I reached out first and then we just started just chit-chatting and then I think it was like three or four days later he was like I'm at B2 Bistro would you like to come over and have a drink so I was in the gym super fit thanks for all this weight and I decided to <laughs> just go over there sweaty natural looking curly hair no makeup and he adored me I think yeah we really hit it off I mean it's weird that you know you look at social media and that we can have so many mutual friends like thousands and never run into each other there was no interlying things or behind the scenes things. Yeah, because it was supposed to be an hour. I, what was it, five hours? I don't know, we just hung. Wow, yeah. so from a backyard barbecue to exchanges on social media to then you asking her out, yep. y'all going out for drinks. You might have been sweaty buddy from the gym, but y'all hit it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like great conversation. Talking. I mean, when you think about your significant other, what do you love most about him? What do you appreciate most about him? That I actually have help for once. And I'm not saying in past life I never had help, it's just it's a lot more, it's things that I never, 
you know, as a little girl, you, you know, I have a great father and he did all these things and he's fulfilling a lot of that, that I'm, I know that I'll be okay in life. Like he literally, and it feels rewarding that I can tell them I will be okay in life. He takes very well care of me. When he first took care of me being sick, I think that's when I really fell in love with him. Mm -hmm. Was this during COVID? Or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I love him because he's genuine. He doesn't, even if he's as tired as I am, he, he pulls that extra mile and just does it. And he doesn't make you feel bad about it. And we I know he loves it. I don't nag. He don't nag. We're good. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't argue that much. So what does life look like now cohabitating together? And, and how are you working things out? Who does what around the house? What does a typical day look like between the I two? I take care of the outside. <laughs> <laughs> but you do the inside, too. You I do. just had a feather duster out about 20 minutes ago before they got here. And yeah. he does. No, he does. With and a cough. You, and you love doing the landscaping as well. I do, that's always been my thing. I'm, I'm letting him do that because I used to do the landscaping myself too. Need your help. Go to 11. No, I can't. Would Why? you come here? Because. Now Stephanie, did you watch John and Kate Plus 8 back in the day? What do you remember about the show? Diapers. <laughs> Lots of diapers when you got eight. <laughs> A lot of babies running around. But I love hearing that you feel like you had help. You have helped, Stephanie. Because some would say, I mean, maybe back in the day, some of the episodes of John and Kate Plus 8, you weren't necessarily the most helpful sometimes, John. He no, I became disgruntled because it was just like, instead of asking, it was ordering. Being married and just constant, constant ordering, I was just like, shut, you shut down. So. Yeah, and help, I ain't helping you. I mean, I don't need to prove my point. Right. You can just go watch season after season of that. So now the two of you, you've been in a relationship for Two years now? Almost. Almost two really years. Really close to two years. Really oh my gosh. Yeah, really Ooh. close. You got the it was birthday and the anniversary close together, John. A couple days. Couple it was days. September. Like, I don't know. It was not. We met at that barbecue at the end of August. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then y'all made it official not too long after? I'd say a couple weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You moved fast, John Goslin. I don't know. I think I did too. Yeah, okay. I think so. I think everything just clicked. Blame that one on him. Are y'all interested in expanding your families and having more children? We cannot expand the family. No. <laughs> well, they're not going to expand the family. My whole demeanor just changed. No. 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 When are we walking down the aisle? When are you inviting ET to the wedding? No. Next question. No, Next but time. I saw on Instagram <laughs> you're not engaged. That wasn't no, an we're engagement. Not engaged. No, we're not. Okay. Is this forever? Well, I hope so. It better be. I'm not moving anything do out of this I don't house. want to move. <laughs> I'm not moving. I already told him the house is so large. We have a fully finished basement downstairs with over. a bar. Uh -huh. You can just live downstairs. And I'm staying upstairs. <laughs> I'm not lifting a box. Getting too old. Not one oh, box. I don't even want to see packing tape or bubble paper ever. Ever again. You Unless we make buy it another work, house for just a second house, that's fine. We'll just put new stuff in that. We're yeah. not moving no. well, for a while. Better make it work, though. Yeah, you better. Oh, why is it on me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>